Hello and welcome to Set Up For Success, a YouTube channel that is made especially for parents to help and assist them to set their children up for success in life. Now this episode is, has been made to help parents to have and enjoy a Merry Christmas. Now we know how demanding Christmas can be on parents. It can be stressful, it can be so many negative things when really it shouldn't be. The real meaning of Christmas is for us to worship and to remember Jesus Christ coming to the earth and being born as a baby, God being born as a man to redeem this world and the main reason for Christmas is a celebration of his life and him coming to this world. Now unfortunately Christmas has been hijacked by society, it's been hijacked by um, commercialism, by Hollywood, by so many other people putting their spin on Christmas. I mean if you watch the Hollywood movies you'd think that Christmas is a time where you find your life partner and you fall in love. If you go by the shop and the, the shops and the commercialization of Christmas then you just think that Christmas is a time where you just spend money or you just eat until you feel sick or you drink and you party. Now I'm not saying that Christmas isn't a time where we enjoy ourselves, of course we should enjoy ourselves because it's a time of celebration. So in, of course we should enjoy ourselves, we, we should be spending time with our families, our friends and celebrating but everything in it's everything in moderation really and during this time of Christmas I just want to encourage those parents who um, may be feeling that this is just overwhelming and this is just a time where I'm, I just hate it I've just got some tips where I would just like to share with you to help you to enjoy Christmas not endure it and to celebrate it and just to enjoy your children along with the season so I just would like to share my top tips with you and let me know how you find them so my number one tip is as is it with your children what do I mean by as is basically just tell them how it is as it is don't try and deny things don't try and hide if you're um, going through financial struggles if um, for example one person parents out of work or one parent cannot be there for Christmas for any um, reason be honest with your children be open with your children um, just let them know we're going through some financial struggles at the moment so obviously those things that you had um, written down in your Christmas list we may not be able to get everything on that list but we will obviously try our best um, explain if a particular parent can't be there this parent won't be there around at Christmas so just let them know just be honest just be open um, don't deny anything don't try and um, cover things up or to lie because obviously children will find out so just be open be honest as is it with your children and they hopefully will appreciate your honesty and will come round to the idea of putting, um, not putting up, but satisfying with what they get. Because obviously children have been bombarded by TV programs, showing parents, buying loads of presents, um, seeing Christmas trees with mounds of presents underneath them, a big happy family sitting around a table with mountains of food. So obviously if you're going through um, something and your Christmas is not going to look like the one that the image that has been portrayed on the TV, talk to your children about it. You may not even agree with those images shown on the TV and even if you've got the money you're just deciding we're not going to have it like that because that is not the mean, the real meaning of Christmas. So just be open, just be honest and just have a real sensitive talk with your children. Number two, do your best 
make an effort. Um, there are times when Christmas is hard for certain people. It could be due to things or circumstances that have happened in the past. Again, it could be due to financial reasons. It could be due to health reasons. There could have been a bereavement in the family. If you have children, obviously um, they're not going to understand exactly what you are going through. So as much as possible, do your best and make an effort just to make that day special for them. Because remember, they go back to school and everyone's going to be talking about Christmas. What did you get? What did you do? What did your family do? And you want them to be able to share their day with their friends as well. So do your best. Make an effort for your children. You know, make a nice meal for them. Sit down. Spend time talking to each other, laughing, sharing stories. Just make an effort um, for your children for that day to be as special as possible for them. Number three, create special memories. There's something about Christmas that it's all about creating special memories. You remember, oh, last Christmas we did this and Christmas 2000 and this we did that. So it's important to create happy memories for your children. And again, it doesn't require you spending loads and loads of money, but it just requires you being thoughtful. You may want to um, cook something different or dress up in a specific specific way, put on some really good music and all have a dance, um, share stories again of maybe of your childhood of what Christmas was like or have a pajama day where you all just sit down or snuggle up in bed and just watch movies but make Christmas memorable, create happy memories for your children. Number four, parents do not spend what you can't afford. Don't put yourself in debt trying to keep up with the Joneses, trying to keep up with other, other parents. You know, our children love to give us guilt trips and uh, make us feel that, oh, so-and-so's got this, iPhone this and Samsung this, whatever. Um, tell them, this is my budget, this is what I'm getting for you. Or get them a present and teach them how to be grateful. Teach them how to satisfy help them to understand that Christmas is not about being in competition with your friends or going back and um, showing off about what you've got. Learn to be content with who you are as you are. It's not the things externally that make you, but it's you yourself. And so help them, you know, just to be grateful. Um, help them find cheaper alternatives if you can't afford the, the, the name brand and even if you can afford them maybe you just choose that you do not want to um, be supporting a lot of these big companies these um, labels and you just want to get them something that is nice that is um, luxurious that is high quality but not specifically a name brand or a label that they can go off and show off with their friends. A lot of these things are just competition, a lot of these things are just um, to brag. You know, it's a lot of people with low self-esteem just wanting to um, show off on other people. Teach your children self-confidence. Help them to see, I've given you my very best and this is quality. You need to be grateful, you need to satisfy. Number five, Secret Santa. If you have a large family and everybody is expecting to give presents and receive presents, consider doing a secret Santa so that everyone at least will get a present in your extended family and um, it relieves the pressure of you going out and having to buy numerous presents for everyone. It relieves the financial pressure and it prevents people getting loads of presents that they actually do not want and you having to um, wrap and do all these things that you probably don't want to do. So consider doing Secret Santa for a huge family. Number six, make use of vouchers, groupons, sales, and special offers in stores and online. Number seven, don't try to outdo others at Christmas. Christmas is not about competition. It is about giving, but giving in love, and sharing and enjoying one another's company. So don't try to outgive anyone. Number eight, do something charitable as a family. Um, it could be um, sponsoring a child who's abroad or in England, 
registering for a charity, it could be going to help out at a homeless shelter, feeding the homeless, going to visit the elderly, um, members of your um, church, your community, um, visiting a hospice, giving um, away toys, clothes, whatever it is, do something as a family so your children can see you giving and so your children can see you being um, a member of, uh, an active member of society. So do something charitable this Christmas as a family. Number nine, remember to spend quality time with each other. Get out Monopoly, get out chess, get out Scrabble, get out the good old fashioned board games and spend some quality time with each other, laughing, talking, doing, creating memories, taking photos, videos, dancing, doing electric slide as a family, but do something. <laughs> spend quality time with each other. Number 10, remember the real reason for the season. We don't know what our future holds, but we know who holds our future. 2018 has been an amazing year, and we just pray that 2019 holds even better things in store for us all. Enjoy your Christmas, enjoy each other, enjoy your children. Thank you all for your support for Set Up For Success. Thank you for liking, for sharing, for commenting, for encouraging me. My prayers are with you and your family at this time. I love you. See you next year.